Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy Coding. Today we are going to discuss about where we have used collections in our automation framework. So before moving on to the topic, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please care to subscribe my channel for latest updates. So let's get started. Where we use collections in Selenium. This is one of the major interview questions of Selenium. So let's see where we have used Selenium in our automation framework. Whenever we deal with more than one item, then we use collections in Selenium web driver. So some of the places are when we try to retrieve the more than one match of element that means find elements and when we handle multiple tabs or windows that is get window handles and the next one is when we retrieve options from the drop down using get option methods. So these are the three areas where we have used collections in our Selenium framework. So let's see each one in detail. So let's move on to the first one that is find elements. So first let us see the application of list in the Selenium web driver. We do not use array list in Selenium most commonly, but we use list. People prefer list over array list because when we use a list, you can store a different kind of list categories like array list, link list, tree list and so on. But when we use array list, then we can only store only the array list type. So this is the reason why the find elements method returns list rather than the array list because list is a broad one and the array list is a narrow one. So that's why uh, the find elements method returns list rather than the array list. So the next question is why we cannot use array list for it instead of list because we have to store the values based on the return type only. Here we have list return type. So we are using the same list, but we can use array list. But uh, what is the problem is we can see in the next uh, image that is array list web element al so driver dot find elements of by dot x path so here you can see uh, type mismatch cannot cannot convert from list to array list so we have to convert it to uh, a uh, array list format that means we have to downcast it to i mean we have to narrow down to array list so here you can see so we have to store the value based on return type only so this is the format of uh, storing the values of find elements in the array list so we have declared as array list here i mean we have narrowed down to array list in the next example we can see we have declared a list of web element uh, the return type of uh, web find elements is also list from this step we will get the number of elements in that list so that is elements dot size so here we have declared a for loop to iterate through all the elements present in the web element list. So list is a collection. So that is one of the example of collections used in our Selenium framework. So let's move on to the next topic that is for each in Selenium web driver. For each is one of the ways to traverse the collections in Java. And this is like for loop, while loop and do while loop. But it does not have any control variables or conditions in the loop. And it will pick one by one element from the collections and use. So that is for each loop. So we use the for each loop in Selenium to iterate over a list of web elements when used find elements, a set of window handles, option present in drop. In these places, we will use for each. So there are few things to remember about for each loop. That is, it starts with the keyword like a normal for loop. Instead of declaring and initializing a loop counter variable, you declare a variable that is the same type as the base type of the array followed by a colon which is the followed by the array name and in the loop body you can use the loop variable you created rather than using the using an index array element it is commonly used to iterate over an array or a collections or a collections class example array list hash set you might need to declare a variable outside the loop if you want to terminate the loop after some iterations so here we can see it starts with the keyword like a normal for loop. Yeah, it starts with the keyword like normal for loop. And instead of declaring and initializing a loop counter variable, you declare a variable that is same type as of the base type of the array. Here you can see we have declared a web element element. And in the loop body, you can loop uh, variable you can create rather than using an index array element. Okay, so here you can see the declaration of the for each. So let's move on to the next one that is how to use set in Selenium web driver. So first we have used list and the example is uh, when we use find elements we will use list and the next one is set that is used for get window handles. So set is a collection of object that allows no duplicate elements and set is an interface that extend the collection interface. 
unlike list java sets is not an ordered collection its elements does not have a particular order and set does not provide control over the position where you can insert an element so you cannot access elements by their index and also search elements in the list and set is used when we are dealing with the unique elements or values like window handles that is get window handles here you can see one example uh, he here we are loading the website using the get and it will return the parent window name as string here you can see string parent we are using driver dot get window handle and uh, next one is set string so this is the declaration of set so what is the return type of this that is a set of string so this is an important interview question what is the return type of driver dot get window handles it is a set of strings and now we are iterating it and this is also one of the major interview question that is the iterator one how we are using how we are iterating through set so here you can see uh, we are using iterator and the format is you can see uh, the has next next these are the format of iterator so you should remember this one as well so if you are giving an example of collections in your automation framework you should learn these two i mean list and set so these are the two examples you can provide in the automation testing interview for the collection so first one is list and the find elements we are using list and the next one is set that is when we are using set of string for the get window handles so that's all about today's session. I hope it's clear to all of you. So if you have any queries, please comment in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching.